Hey what's up guys, today is a pretty remarkable day in history as it marks the 10th anniversary of Cydia first being released. And I really liked how a user on the jailbreak subreddit phrased this, he said through dozens of iOS updates, boot loops, and glitches at every turn, Cydia has withstood the test of time unlike many that came before it. So I personally just want to make today's video thanking Jay Freeman aka Sork for getting us this far because without Cydia, the jailbreak community may not have become what it is today. So on that note, it'll be interesting to see if we hear or see anything released from Sork today, but that is highly unlikely. From his last response on the jailbreak subreddit, it sounds like he's just getting back into things after recovering from an illness. He also goes into explaining his thoughts on the Electra jailbreak. And I won't sit here and read this whole thing to you, but if you want to check it out in more detail, I will link it down below. But in other news, for everyone that's on iOS 11.2 to 11.2.2, Zimperium's Bluetooth D exploit has now been publicly released, and a full write-up and proof-of-concept project is available for it. At this point in time, it's really uncertain when, if ever, this is going to be incorporated into a full-fledged jailbreak, or if Coolstar is going to use it to update Electra. We will have to wait and see, but for those of us running iOS iterations below 11.2.5, this is some fantastic news, as it puts us one step closer to yet another iOS 11 jailbreak. Again, it's very likely if this exploit were used with other exploits and patches, this could turn into a full-fledged jailbreak for iOS 11.2.2 and below, as this exploit was patched in iOS 11.2.5. That is the reason why we are now receiving a public write-up and release. Alright, and very lastly, I won't have much time to get in this today, but I just want to say that I haven't forgot about everyone that's still on iOS 10. In recent news, the Meridian KPP-less jailbreak by IB Sparks has received some major debugging updates lately, and it's looking very likely that a substrate alternative with a forked version of Cydia may be coming to that jailbreak in the same way it arrived on Electra. It looks like the developer has run into some errors, but he states that the goalposts are in sight. Anyway guys, just wanted to do this quick video informing everyone on some of the latest updates within the community. Now let's get back into some top tweaks and Electra Jailbreak related videos. If you guys like this video, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some new awesome videos to come. But until next time, this is Tony, signing out.